What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pickles Penny Pinchin' Picks, the series where I go out onto Steam and various parts of the internet and find games that are cheap and or free and let you know whether or not they're worth your time. Today's game is Save Jesus. <laughs> yes. Yes, that, that is, uh, that's, that's the game. Save Jesus. Conceptually, it's like Angry Bird, but instead of a bird, you have ball to kill the Roman and save the cross-eyed Jesus. Because, I mean... Seriously, look. Dude, dude is cross-eyed. These little blocks that look like sand, they're actually called sand blocks. Those are what you can get rid of. That's how you start the ball rolling. You get a different ball every time, whether it's per level or whether it's per time that you kill Jesus. But yeah, that's that's the game. There are three stars that you have to get with the ball. Sort of marks the path that you take. It's nothing more than that. This is entry number two in the series where uh, the game has been purchased. So yes, let's see, I killed Jesus. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it's two ninety nine on Steam. Um, it's not bad. It it's actually kind of fun. I don't know. I I had a blast playing it. I'll probably make a video because I I did I think about twenty minutes of this. So I may end up at some point, um making a video of the various ways in which I saved and or killed Jesus. <laughs> Guess there he goes again. <laughs> uh, it's a challenging game. You know, it, it's a little bit more than the Angry Birds and, and shit like that. I, I, I kind of liked it. Uh, just like with uh, Oh Sir, the insult simulator, I enjoyed um, the game. I think I got O Sir for I think 94 cents. Uh, I think it's normally three bucks on Steam. It's a complete game. It's not early access or anything like that. Nothing in, in that department where we have to worry about, well, it's not finished or there's graphical glitches, anything like that. It's just save Jesus. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was, it was actually kind of enjoyable. Um, I'm not gonna, I think 75% of the pickle is about where I'm going to be for some of these games that have... It's not bad, but it's not fantastical either. You know, I'm not going to be like, you have to go play this. I think the top 25% are going to be used for games to where I was like, you you really should kind of give this one a try. I'll say that this one is falls under the department of... About damn time. If you want to give it a try, I say go for it. It's only three bucks. It's not that bad. For the most part, it's enjoyable. It's one of those ones where you kind of almost expect to have this on your phone or a tablet. And bye bye, Jesus. <laughs> it, it's not bad. You know, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll definitely say that I got my three bucks worth, especially as you get higher level up. So that's Joseph. You have to save him too. This is Mary and Joseph. You have to save mom and dad. And I kill Jesus. But I, yeah, I'd say if, if this is the kind of game that you like, I say go for it. It was worth it for the three bucks. I, yeah, I'd say about 75% of the pickle. I don't expect a whole lot. <laughs> Die, Jesus. I don't expect a whole lot of replay in it, though, because I think once you get through it on and you get all three stars in it, there's not much else to do. I mean, if, if you got three bucks and you want something kind of Angry Birds-esque, but maybe a little bit more thought provoking instead of angling a shot you have to kind of plan a shot like that i i, I say it's, it's fun it's worth the three bucks i think 75 percent of the pickle is about uh is about a fair assessment yeah if you're wanting like i said something similar to angry birds or something because it's almost like you're doing a rube goldberg device to where you're starting here and you're having to go this way and this one's straight up donkey kong but, uh, yeah, that's all I got this week. Um, I think I'm going to go back to free next week. So expect a uh, free title in our future. And, yeah, until I see you guys in another video, I'm Pickle and I'm out of here. Look, dude, dude is cross-eyed.